Um, number one, you have to understand if you belong to Jesus Christ, and maybe it happened, maybe you died, someone died out in the wilderness, or they maybe they, mm. I don't know, maybe there was an explosion or a big fire or something, and your heart is still grieving because you think they died alone. Number one, nobody dies alone if you're going to heaven. Wow. Your guardian angels are with you from the time actually before you're born. They're sent to be outside the mother. Your guardian angels, when you step out of this body, have been present when a lot of people have passed. It was, it was quite wonderful for me as a seer. Uh, I would see all the angels rush in the room if I was in the hospital room. But some of the angels would really rush in the room and gather around the person who's about to pass. And, and then they literally, sometimes they'll hold their hand out, and it's at that moment they will step out of their body. You know when it said Jesus gave up the ghost? That means he let go of the spirit man so he could leave his physical body on the cross. Well, that's the same thing that happens when somebody dies. Your physical body, your physical body lets go. It stops breathing. Your spirit man steps out on its own. Uh, it's, you got your arms and your legs just like you do now excitement floods your being wow man, i like that. no fear no pain no sickness no disease nothing missing <laughs> you are perfect in every way your spirit man if you're a believer uh, you're young looking uh, jesus may come himself to get you sometimes he'll bring a family member with him to meet you oh really on his own chariot so all i know is that joy floods you right then the second you give up this physical body, no matter what state it's in, uh, you are filled with the life of God, the excitement, expectancy, knowing you're going home to heaven. You don't even still know how that's going to happen. You don't even care. You're so excited. Here's your guardian angels with you. You know, sometimes Jesus or sometimes a family member actually may be allowed to come from heaven to go up with you. And it depends on if you go. I see these glorified like elevators. One appears, it opens. And your angels escort you into that thing and zip you right up there. Sometimes you go by chariot. Uh, there's different ways that you can be taken to heaven. But you're already filled with life and excitement. Life. Your body just died. You didn't. You're still very much alive. But the life of God begins to flood you with joy and excitement and expectation. Uh, you can't wait to get there. So number one, you never die alone. Number two, the second this body stops functioning, you really begin to live at that moment when your spirit wow. man steps out and your soul is still with you. So that's what you think about. That's your will, what you choose and your emotions that you display. All that is in you. Only there's nothing negative. There's like I said before, no fear, no pain, no handicaps. Can you imagine some people seeing for the first time that we're blind? Crazy. Wow. Uh, some people wow. Who walk can now run. They can jump. Um, it's, it's a time, it's a time of celebration. Uh, you're going home to celebrate in heaven. You're not going home to weep and cry and have regrets and, and be upset about things. If that's all left behind, you're just filled with God uh, from the moment you step out of this body. So, so you're so the, very much alive. The people that, uh, may be afraid of death because the people are afraid of death. It's a big fear. They may be breathing their last and in severe pain, but they need to know that seconds from now, they may That's be right. in the greatest joy they've ever been. That's right. It, it really is that drastic of a change. Wow. And I do want to encourage people that when Jesus came in person and told me the father and he were giving me a commission to reveal heaven to earth, although I never asked for it, I never sought them for it. I, it's a commission. That's something they decide to do. Uh, they already knew my life. They knew my heart. Uh, they knew that I would obey no matter what. I mean, in my own life, I do obey. Uh, when you know them personally, you, it's not because they're watching. It's your heart to make them glad. And when you, the more you obey, it becomes like breathing. What does that mean? That means you don't even, sin's not an option. There's no sin. I don't sin. Why would I sin? Yeah. I have relationship with those who hold life itself. I want to bless them. So I've learned the joy of obedience. There's nothing like it. You're so free of evil and darkness. There's no darkness in me. I'm filled with the light and the life of God. And that's how you feel when you step out of this body. This life is left behind. You don't forget your loved ones. You start making places for them to visit, uh, preparing them for, to, for them to come to heaven. 
you you sing happy birthday to them every even though they don't keep track of time they know when your birthday is on the earth they'll go to a portal in heaven and literally sing to you happy birthday and then they will go get a gift in heaven and take it to your mansion so every year you are apart from however many people you got there that's why so many people have so many gifts they won't forget you and when you step out of this body you're so filled knowing okay. you're about to see the face of your lord the face of his father and and all that heaven has has been prepared for you you're excited